if you're lactose intolerant, you can't watch this movie because it's got so much cheese. Sorry, yeah, I gotta go. You guys are gonna do this on your own. No. Nope, end it there. You agree 100%. I'm right. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Felix Fellas. This week, we'll be taking a look at The Sound of Music. But first, I'd like to welcome my co-hosts. James, Joey did you just say Kevin. The Sound of Music? The Sound of Music. You know. <laughs> did he <do> that, really? <laughs> I did. I did say the sound of music. Awesome. Oh, no. The sound of metal. I was waiting for somebody to catch that or you to fix it, and you just kept going. I was like, Wait no, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was obviously a joke, not sincere. Finally. I've been Cancel waiting for James. James to say something so ridiculously dumb. I've been waiting so long on this podcast. And I've so far, I've life. said the dumbest thing, and now James said something so stupid. Fuck you, Listen, James. Yours is still worse, Kev. You're dumb, you, dude. You're you so thought dumb. thought... Swedes were from Switzerland. <laughs> Ooh. But that's what I'm saying. Is James said something also dumb. So that's fuck you, right. James. Yeah, this Listen, is your movie, I never so said you I never up. said I was a smart man. I've been lying to you the whole time. All right, but we're listening. We're or we're watching the sound of metal. Sound of Two metal strikes. this week. Uh, and I want to welcome Kevin, who's being a dick right now, and <laughs> Joey <laughs> to look at this movie with me. Welcome, Cheers. guys. Hello. Jeez. I have no drink today. I rushed to Sancha. get here, so I didn't have a chance. Uh, ding dang. All right. Maybe a break, you can grab a drink. All right. Um, so Sound of Metal, right? It's a 2019 American drama film directed and co-written by Darius Martyr. Uh, it stars Riz Ahmed and as a metal drummer who has to deal with a harsh casualty of his career. And also features, this movie also features Olivia Cook and Paul Rachi. Uh, this movie uh, was a human story of a man who deals with a truly unfortunate repercussion of his career. And because of it, it forces him to make tough choices about who he wants to be, and also ultimately choices on, <clears throat> and how his, it ultimately shows how his choices affect others in the grand scheme of life. Uh, so I think that's going to roll us right into first reactions. Uh, we'll start with Kevin this week, because you've got a lot to say. Kevin, what do you think of this movie? <laughs> I did not tell you I had a lot to say, but <laughs> but <laughs> it was a really good movie. Um, I like Riz Ahmed. I think he's a great actor. Um, I thought the movie was a slow burn for me, but I, it never like lost my attention. So it was just kind of that slow pace. Um, but it was good. It was sad. It was kind of like depressing. I was like, oh, this sucks. Like, poor dude. Like, the dude is just in a shitty situation. But uh, overall, I thought the movie was like, was like a really good movie. Like, I'd probably watch it again. I agree. Joe, what did you so, think? My very first reaction and the first note that I took was that I hate screamo metal rock music. <laughs> Me so too. I was like, oh, God. Um,. I didn't really know what this was about going into it, which has been theme, I feel like, for what we try to do here. And I got instantly, like, little Miss Sunshine vibes when they were on the road and talking and just having kind of, like, casual conversations and little things. Um, it was a good movie, though. It was, like Kevin said, a slow burn, kind of hard to watch. Not necessarily for the right reasons. It was just a little, like, kind of. it did kind of lose me at some times. And just, like was hoping things would like progress or pick up or something would happen but it's a very character driven movie and I will say this the one thing I really loved about this movie was that you really were experiencing the whole thing from the perspective of the main character so when he was going experiencing everything you were experiencing it as well um, I don't really know if it's a spoiler because it's kind of the whole plot of the movie you can say it I know. You I can say, say it, it. Okay. okay he's go he he's a metal rock drummer who goes deaf and as he's going deaf, they kind of, like, make you lose. Like, they don't let, they let you, like, hear the audio perfectly clear. You So you kind of feel like you're losing it. And then also when he's, like, learning sign language and stuff, like, he doesn't... They don't give you captions or subtitles or anything. So you don't really know what anyone's saying. You're in that same experience. So I did like the way that they did that and kind of made you really... They made you watch the movie through his eyes, kind of. The Sorry. sound editing was incredible, Joe. Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This movie I, was like an much. experience. It really was. Like I felt like it felt like you, like Joey, kind of to jump right off of what you were saying. It's a very ex like a human experience movie, right? Like you're kind of sitting in, you're sitting as his co-pilot as it goes through the entire story. Um, but kind of to get into you know my first thoughts, I think that this movie was very well done. 
Uh, this is definitely not a super happy movie. You know, it's not a light movie, but this is a thinker. It's a thinker movie, you know? It's one of those movies you sit down and, like, you pay attention the whole time, and it's, it is slow. It's not an action movie. It's not a, like, suspenseful movie. It's just, like, a human struggle movie, you know? And you see the main character as he kind of has to face this adversity in his life and, you know, deal with the repercussions. Um, no pun intended there, because he's a drummer. Um, but the, uh, what's it called? Ooh. We all... <laughs> Listen, the pun was right there. I could not take it. <laughs> um, but uh, we, I also just wanted to give a quick shout out because this movie was a recommendation from a loyal listener, Kyle Hall. Thank you very much for recommending this. Uh, and, uh, you know, any other listeners that want us to take some, a look at something, please feel free to leave a comment. That's how we heard about this movie. And I did really like this movie. I thought it was a very... Uh, it made me think very existentially, you know, towards the end, you know, because it got very, like, I feel like a big theme, and I don't really want to get into the specifics, because I know we're going to touch on this in the spoiler section, but there's a very clear diverging path at one point in the movie, and I feel like they do a very good job of kind of distilling the, but what if I did the other thing, you know, in your in your head? And, like, I feel like that's a superhuman emotion, you know? Because there's so many junctures in your life that you go through, like, no matter how old you are, that you're like, well, what if I did this other thing? You know what I mean? Where would I be today? How would have that affected me? And, like, you know, it's a very interesting take on a hard situation. So, yeah, again, I, I'm super glad that uh, one of our listeners recommended this and had us watch, like, an actual good movie, but also... Like, we're way out of our league on this one, because this movie's, like, actually a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> and we're so used to just watching fucking shit. American movies. Pickle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's not even fair. It's, like, I think this is right up the league. alley with American Pickle, to be this honest. Is, what? <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, if you took, like a, like, a Little League kid, and you, like, put him up like against Garrett Cole like batting in the MLB <laughs> like now we're like in a real we're actually reviewing like a movie now well that's yeah. what we're trying to do is weed out the good from the bad give you that's a genuine true. average Joe opinion not just a movie critic's opinion about the lighting and the all the stupid bullshit that most people don't really care about they want to know about the plot they want to know like what the exciting moments are why we should watch it why we shouldn't watch it like that's what you're going to get from this episode because no we're not going to talk about the sound engineering and designing like we already said it was good like, i think that's the extent of what we're going to talk about for that but yeah we're not sound we're, engineers <laughs> yeah <laughs> although we have a podcast that's true but you're going to get an honest opinion about this one and just hear our thoughts mm -hmm. so all right. I think, honestly, I really want to get into this one, and I feel like kind of to get into this one, we kind of have to talk a little bit more about what happens. So I'm very cool with pumping this one into uh, the spoiler section, unless you guys have anything else before we go. Send it, James. Send, Send it. Send it. Well, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for listening to First Reactions. Uh, we'll see you all when we come back from the break. Uh, here's a word from our sponsor. Thanks, everyone, for watching First Reactions. Uh, if you want to check out the full conversation we had about the movie, go check out the movie podcast on our channel. Uh, we really appreciate it. Please leave a comment and a like down below. It helps us out a lot. You can also let us know what you want to see next. So thanks again. Signing off for now.